Hello. Welcome back. Right. Before I get into it, I ain't back. I'm definitely not back. Um, but I felt compelled to make this quick video. Because um, so many people on the channel, on videos and through Facebook have been messaging me. Hope you're all right. Miss your stripey and all that. Um, so I thought it's, uh, the least I can do is to stop by and say hello. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing okay. Um, it's been a bit of a weird year, like it has been for everyone. A bit up and down. Um, pretty bad month last month. Uh, lost my best mate. Um, that was kind of tragic, but I'm not going to go into that. Not on here. As you know, the reason I um, stopped doing videos was I just couldn't keep up with YouTube and their, their policies and their monetize just one minute and then not. And yeah, sure, it's lovely to do the videos, but when you're spending three days in editing and filming and all that, for them just to just, no, nah, I'm not getting involved. And you could, they kept moving the goalposts. Um, I've been watching YouTube quite closely and the way they do things, and it ain't, I'm not a big fan really. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. Although they did send me an email this week that I did think was kind of funny, and I thought I'd read it to you. Before we start, it says, YouTube's right to monetize. YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform and ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube partner program. Fair enough. Fair enough is their platform, I suppose. So you make the film and edit it all and they can put adverts on that they get. Fine. Anyway, so that's why, guys, that's why I've not been on here. I've actually got rid of quite a lot of uh, social media. I got rid of me uh, Twitter. That was the best thing I've ever done. Yes, it was good for getting the up-to-date news, but it's just us. Yeah, well, I got rid of Twitter. Uh, Instagram, don't miss that at all. Now, I was going to get rid of Facebook as well when I was having the... Uh, I've had enough of this lot. Because I don't... They're supposed to be connecting people, but I feel like they're dividing people, and I just don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, and I was going to get rid of me Facebook, but um, they're sneaky, really. They sort of lure you back in. In 2018, uh, me and six others, well, it was me, really, I created a Bruce Lee page on Facebook. You know, those people do create pages all the time. And there were seven of us, um, just me and a couple of mates, because I got sick of other Bruce Lee pages with stupid, pointless images on there that was so bad. So I thought I'd put high quality images on, decent videos on, and a little bit of information as on what I can find. As you know, I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. Um, well, this page just went from, it just started growing exponentially, you know. Um, I think we're up to 57,000 members now. I oh, know. It's crazy, it's crazy. So, at the moment, that's all I'm posting in and keeping an eye on. I very rare, rarely post on my own page. Very, very rarely. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of had it with social media. I don't like what they do. But anyway, let's talk about some records, shall we? Right. I've been playing quite a few bits recently, but um, this one seems to be going on the turntable quite a lot. It's a classic album, uh, Bob Dylan's Highway, 61 Revisited. But this is um, on mono. It's like a mono pressing, and it's on clear vinyl. I'll show you the record because it does look kind of sexy. Oh, upside down. Upside down. How nice does that look? Mono. And I've got to say, guys, it sounds awesome. It's punchy. In between tracks, it's silent. It's really, really quiet. They've done a superb job on the pressing. And as you all know, it's classic Dylan. Um, it's actually the first Dylan I own on record. There's so many to get, though, aren't there? So many great, great albums. Right, another band. PK, if you're listening, hope you're about, mate, and hope you're doing okay. You'll be pleased to know I've been playing the Kinks loads. 
still Village Green, still Arthur, but something else uh, face to face. And after I do this ramble, I'll be playing this little beaut, Lola. Um, obviously, I know Eight Man, I know Lola, but don't know the other tracks on here that well. So, really looking forward to this. And this is the uh, 50th anniversary -ish, uh, reissue. So, Oh, good afternoon ahead of me. So, yeah, the kink selection. I've got a nice little section now. It's coming on really, really well. Thank you so much with, for persisting with that one, PK. Thank you so much. You, well, you probably do know because I introduced you to Tom Waits. Talking of which, I've got another one to the Waits collection. Night on Earth, uh, which is mostly instrumental, but there's a couple of vocal tracks on it, but it's, I've got it on CD, obviously, uh, but it's nice to get on record. So I've only got one more left to get. That is the Black Rider. Oh, I'll struggle with paying over 100 quid for an album. I know, I'll probably end up doing it. But you'd think someone at Ireland would go, why not we release the Tom Waits ones from the 80s? Might be a good idea. Well, 80s to the early 90s. I mean, I've got most of them up there now, you know, Bone Machine and stuff. But um, would be nice to have Black Rider, guys. Uh, really would. But um, I'm not obsessing. It's growing there. But so I've got nearly all of them, apart from that one. It will be mine. Anyway, um, what else have I been listening to? Oh, I know, I know, I know what I wanted to tell you. Have you heard of the Kings of Convenience? I'm sure you have, if you're listening to this channel, music channel. If you haven't, guys, pause this, go and listen to, I don't know, Toxic Girl or Failure, and then come back and say, thanks, Stripey. They are wonderful. Now, they haven't released an album in 12 years. Um, they've got three, which is Quiet is the New Loud, Declaration of Dependence, and Right on an Empty Street. There was a remix album uh, called Verses, um, which they did stuff with Roy Xop, but it was tracks from them albums, and then had someone else has done stuff with them as well. Actually, really nice. R really nice. Um, but they've got a new album out. It's called Peace and Love. And it's out on the 18th of June. I've had to pre-order this. Because on Discogs, I thought, oh, yeah, Kings of Convenience. I've only got them on the MP3, the, the three albums. Well, actually, the four. I have got the Versus uh, remix album as well. Um, but on record, they're so expensive. I think one of them was about £28, but the rest was like up in the late 70s, early 80s, etc., I can't do it, uh, but I will be keeping an eye out because if you haven't heard them, they are wonderful. Uh, if you like guitar and nice mellow vocals, sets a really nice mood, I find, Kings of Convenience. So, yeah, just in case you didn't know, they've got an album out next month, and I've pre-ordered that one. Looking forward to it turning up. Oh, I can imagine Kings of Convenience on record being something else. Right. And finally, we got Beatles news at last. At last. You know, they kept putting it back, the Beatles uh, Get Back film, the Peter Jackson. The 27th of August, we've got a release date. Now, is this cinema? Is this Netflix? Is this, I don't exactly know. Um, cause cinemas are opening now. It's been the strangest of times, hasn't it? Um, but yeah, really looking forward to seeing that. Obviously, watch the trailer over and over. But we're all just itching to see this. I see there's a nice complimentary book that goes with it. Um, quite a big book. But no no news on a soundtrack yet. Unless any of you guys have heard anything. You'd have think Giles Martin would have been all over this, wouldn't you? There's got to be a great soundtrack to this. There's got to be. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing, guys. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty healthy. Um, yeah, doing me bit. Me and wife here just pottering around in the garden. Nearly finished me water feature. Nearly. <laughs> and that's it. Um, just keeping it on the low. So anyway, thank you all those that reached out to us, uh, commented on my videos and all that lot. It does mean a lot. 
It really does mean a lot. Uh, it's just I can't get involved with YouTube. I, I sit back and watch what Facebook do and what Twitter does. And I don't like it, really. Even um, Netflix. I don't like what they're doing. Um, turn it all off or go and do something else. The world's just so much nicer. Um, anyway. Then again, if you did that, no one will watch this, <laughs> which is probably a good thing. Right, so I'm going to love you and leave you guys. I'm not going to say my usual real soon. Uh, but I may pop back from time to time if I'm going to say But uh, much love. Thank you all again who reached out. And take care of yourselves. Bye now.